a pretty girl, pretty girl, pretty girl. Why my girl? You a, you a pretty girl, pretty girl, pretty girl. Why my girl? You a, you a pretty girl, pretty girl, pretty girl. Why my girl? You a, you a pretty girl, pretty girl, pretty girl. Welcome beautiful people. I am Chef B. Make sure to say subscribe down below. Now for today's video, we will be styling this wig from hergivenhair.com. And as you guys can see, this is a purple unit that we are about to try today. Now this is called their low-key to purple unit. It is a lace closure wig, so it is not a full frontal i'm just showing you guys my shed test basically i run my fingers through the hair just to see if there's any shedding usually with curly hair you will tend to get a little bit of looser hair in there so i like to make sure i co-wash the hair before i do anything else so the knots already bleached for you however you will need to pluck the frontal a bit to make sure that it has a natural look now i'm showing you guys that it comes with adjustable strap to get the wig to be fitted on your head you also have the adjustables inside the actual wig and you see the combs the three combs to help to keep your wig in place now i'm just going to show you guys how i'm going to be plucking this hair now with with frontals not frontals rather but closure so this is a closure wig this is a four by four and not a full frontal so you want to make sure that your lace on your closure looks as natural as possible since it's not a full frontal you want to make sure that that front that middle parting that you do looks as best as you can get it without over plucking and be careful not to cause a bald spot so i'm trying to be very cautious doing this because if you spoil it that's it so you want to take your time and actually do this now as i said you want to cold wash this hair before anything else so what i'm gonna do um after all of that is i go back in and re-wet the hair if it's dry afterwards and then i'm going to brush it out make sure that i get any loose hairs out from the plucking that i did which more than like you will have even if you comb it out so you want to brush that hair out and um this is how it's looking so you can fluff it out to give it more volume which i am going to be doing and then once i've completely detangled the hair make sure that it's smooth and get the volume that i want i'm going to go back in with some mousse and this mousse that i'm using is the lata body mousse now um this doesn't have a super hole so if you want something that to give you uniformed curls that will stay as is some people like that stiff look i don't but if that's what you're looking for this is not a mousse for you because it doesn't have a super hole it just gives you more like of a juicy curly type of look that you're seeing right now in the wig like it's absolutely beautiful so it's not exactly purple it looks more it looks more on the red side to me so i guess that's what the name implies low-key purple so what i'm doing is i'm just cutting off the excess lace before i apply and install my wig so also with cutting off the lace you don't want to go too much um on the lace like giving it a blunt cut you want to go like zigzaggy or you want it to be a little bit raggedy but not like straight and too uniform now i love me a closure wig because it's super easy to install and also i think it's the safest type of wig so if you have um sensitive edges like some people really can't wear um lace frontals with all the all the glue that it requires because um if they have fragile edges uh, closure is probably the best thing for you you don't even have to use glue you don't have to use any type of a gel with it maybe you can use a little bit of a glass to be glued just to make sure that it stays in place or you can just use this pump it up spritz to hold it in place because trust me this spritz your hair is going nowhere but at the same time it's not harmful on 
the lace of the wig. So you can use that. I'm using that to comb out like the uniform partings in the front. And then I spray it on the comb and then comb the hair back so that it stays back there. Now on the sides, if it's a windy day, you can just make sure like you, you know, do some swoop to the dupe action on your own edges or just create a little bit of baby hair with the hair on the side to cover your own edges just to just in case you know a little bit of precaution if it's a windy day and you know the side blows in the wind you want to make sure that um it looks presentable on the side that's one thing with closure wigs like on a windy day since you gotta make sure that you get a, you have it's all neat and cute on the side you know what i'm saying and then i layered the front a little bit because i thought it was just like eh just drop straight in the front like give it a little bit of layer so that it could frame my face and as you guys can see don't mind me i've been feeling this green eye shadow this past week so um excuse me and then i'm like you know what's this let's be a little bit extra so what did i do i put some butterflies in my hair because why not why not just add a little bit of excitement and that is all that i have for you guys today all the details will be in the description box down below along with the link to the wig and i'll see you guys in my next video go on big up in yourself bye guys